Right, so I'm in Rill today. I haven't been back to Rill for about 15 years. And uh, back when it was a kid, it was sick. I used to love going into all the arcades and stuff like that. Now the uh, today is really nice, so I'll just give you a little glimpse of the, the shore. Visibility is uh, quite intense as well. You can see Snowdonia. See over there in the distance. Over there, Land Dudno's over there. So yeah, it's a nice day, it's nice and crisp as well, which I like. So I'm going to walk down the high street, high street, sorry. I'm going to walk down the promenade, if you can call it a promenade. Get down some back streets, see if there's any hidden gems, so let's go. So it's a tower, but as a kid, I'm, I'm sure I remember you got into a little spinny thing at the bottom. And when it went up, it spun. I'll try and get the background. It used to spin going up to the top. I mean, it's not the greatest looking things. I mean, that looks like it's been shut for years. I mean, it just looks like a telegraph pole. I mean, there's some, uh, some pictures on the side, like real back in the day. So we'll have a look at what real used to look like back in 1908, 1909. Look at this here, it goes back to the 1800s. Don't know where that is, maybe we'll find it later on. Pier damaged, I don't know if there's still a pier in real, I didn't even know there was one, I can't remember. 1904, busy, some sort of priest knocking about. Don't know what he's doing. Swimming baths there. Station, I want to find that station, that building looks quite nice. That's what annoys me about, and pictures looking at that, when people go, oh yeah, everything used to be mint back in the day. Oh, when you look back at pictures back in the day, everyone was out and stuff like that. That's because times have changed. People can put on Netflix and put on a film within like two seconds at home now. So say if this weekend comes, they go and what should we do? We go, oh, let's put Netflix on. They can have a film on in about two seconds. Whereas back in the day, you couldn't do that. So when a weekend came and you had like three channels on your TV to watch, you go, oh, what should we do this weekend? You go, oh, I'll right, go to local village, go for a drive, go to the seaside. And that's why everyone's there, because you can't just sit in anymore. You can't just sit on scrolling through Facebook all day, looking at what Stacey's having for her breakfast and stuff like that. So that's why it's easy to be cozy at home now. So that's why not many people go out at the weekends. They'd rather just sit inside and like I say, just watch crap all day or just scroll through Facebook feed all day, uploading pictures of the food moaning or commenting on someone else's status moaning on their status someone moaning about oh my ex has done this my ex has done that doesn't matter get out right get to the seaside or somewhere like that or see a local village or just get to a local town and start doing stuff everyone kicking off saying oh yeah this is a uh, you know, covid hit stuff like that yes that is a big issue about it but no one's going out no one's putting money into anywhere so people need to get out Found a little place here, I think it's probably more pictures now actually of what it used to look like back in the day. So I'm gonna have another another moan here, I don't know what this little section was here. But some pictures again. And I can see them, I can see how round they are. And there isn't a case of oh yeah, people just had more stuff to do, it was just better back in the day. It was better back in the day because people put an effort in, you see. Here we go. Look at that, family day out, not just sat at home on Facebook or watching a crap film. People out, look how busy, look how it looks. Everyone's happy. Everyone's slim as well, because they're not sat at home, eating. And there we go. I mean, obviously it's all right to chill at oh, home, I do it. Weekend comes, sometimes you had a busy week or whatever, but it's these people who get into like a rut of just waking up and just on a weekend doing the same thing over and over again. And once you get into that, it's hard to get out of it. And it makes a lot of people lazy. But like I say, it's nice to have a chill now and again, get a weekend away, just do nothing, sort of recharge your batteries, and then when the next weekend comes, you don't have to go far, you don't have to go to like real or I mean, it took me two hours to get here. 
quite a bit with fuel prices nowadays. So I can understand why people aren't mooching out, but you don't have to go too far. You can just go to like your local village or jump on the train if they're running, they never are to be fair, but <clears throat> even just going for a walk, something like a couple of hours out, get a nice cup of tea halfway around or a cup of coffee or a pint wherever you are, I don't know what you where you're walking. And just get out, it's nice just to be out, no matter where you are. Jesus, that was a moan and a half, wasn't it? Okay, so we've got some uh, seafront apartments in front of me now, I'll show you them, nothing too fancy. Uh, it is real, it's the same as Blackpool, so it's not very uh, expensive or anything like that, but I'll show you now. That's not a hotel, that's just apartments, that one, so... Arcades next door. So yeah, they're not too bad, I suppose. The view, well, especially if you've got a high one, you can see Snowdonia on a day like this. That's a view to die for, I suppose. So we'll keep walking, get into the arcade, have a look at the little dragon, and uh, yeah, we'll just keep mooching, see if we can uh, bring back any childhood memories. Casino lounge, laser zone, the palace, mini golf. So yeah, we're gonna get inside. Proper messed up, I haven't even got any coins on me. This is a bit annoying. So we'll see if we can find any two peas that I've dropped. And we can uh, pikey some of them and have a little go on the machine, so. In we go. Someone hoovering up, so making sure it's uh, kept clean, which is what it's all about. Oh, there's no two bees knocking about, there's no two bees. Tell you what, it's clean in here. I, mean, I don't know if this is the main one, but it's uh, it's very clean. So, plus on that, I'm trying to look for two bees knocking about. But the, uh, the games are all your standard games. So it's your typical standard arcade, which is what it's all about when you go to the seaside with the kids and stuff like that. Uh, don't think we're getting any luck here with these two peas. Get in. Get in. Get in. Come on. Ah, oh, what are we saying? I need one that's hanging off the edge. This one looks good. I fucked that straight away, so that's uh, that's gone. Didn't put it on at the right time. Went right on top of it. Anyway, we'll uh, I'll say to you uh, gambling jackpot sort of stuff, shooting arcades, Resident Evil stuff like that, Batman. So yeah, standard arcades. So uh, so I like that. I prefer that one. The last time I went to Blackpool recently. It's a bit grubby, a bit dirty, but that one uh, is quite clean inside. There's a lot of people cleaning the machines down as well with anti bat wipes, which is what's all about. So I'll keep walking, but here we go. Should be better. And this is where it gets a bit. I am, I am in the winter at the moment, so I can't be too critical about it. Uh, big and beef burgers. So yeah, it is the winter, so I can't be too kick off too much about it being shut. Amusements there. Get here. This is another amusement. I mean you've seen it all before but I'll have a little walk around. Clean again. Yeah. Let's get to the front anyway. Look at this mosaic here. Penguin. I'm guessing that's a penguin. Penguin mosaic. Hey we've got a few mosaics knocking about here. A crab, cheeky little crab, Mr. Crabs, a fish, don't know what that is, is that a fish? Yeah, I think that's a fish, a little sort of snail thing. So uh, we've got what it looks like to be, is the roller coaster areas, you know, the uh, little theme park things, big giant apple there. But all theme parks 
all theme parks close down don't they in the winter so I can't comment on that at all because in the summer it might be booming who knows but this is the uh, this is the area where it all kicks off so ice cream sort of stuff there Welsh Dragon Golf which will be like a crazy sort of golf thing more mosaics on the floor uh, super dodgems again all closed but it is the winter so but golf looks alright castle sort of like a little castle you can play golf through another sort of thing so you can't compare this sort of like place here to Blackpool because Blackpool theme parks on a massive scale like I say it caters for like adults and stuff like that I feel like Rill's more of like a younger kid you bring younger kids here yeah what's this Ah, oh, it's just a car park. I thought it was going to be like some sort of dungeon or something. So yeah, I don't know how far the front goes, but we'll keep mooching down so you can find anything good for you. So here you've got your standard... Standard sea life, which is pretty much at every uh, big sort of UK coastal seaside town oceans are fun for everyone uh, probably not the seal that wants to be out in the ocean and not being taken away from its home captive in real but you know fun for the kids I suppose they don't really think of stuff like that when they're younger maybe when they get a bit older it'd be nice to sort of think about the animals a bit more I um, don't know what this little section is here Looks like some sort of built up, I don't know, I'm guessing here, I don't want to start lying to you, so I'll just keep walking and see uh, see what it's about. Big uh, section behind me here. It's pretty big that, I don't know what goes on there, probably like events or something in the summer. Stage or something, music for kids, or for adults, who knows. But um, it's sort of a bit dirty. I mean, there's, there's rubbish on the floor, but no more than the average sort of town or city, really. So I'm trying to find these baths that's on them, them pictures. I think they're long gone. But hopefully they, they're still there somewhere. It's our little section here where you can hire stuff, kite surfing. Lessons, pro kite surfing. Have a lot of beer there in the front. Be nice in the summer, that I reckon. I can see myself having a beer there. More than Blackpool, to be fair. A lot of sand coming up here now. Sort of like tend them in Australia for a bit. Oh, Jesus. All right, what's this here then? Some sort of like opera place, isn't it? Ah, uh, he's ruining my video, that guy. 1891. Oh. Opera. Tell you what, I had just visions of me uh, moaning from day one since I came here. But I'm very surprised, actually. I prefer this than Blackpool up to now, I haven't gone down the side streets and that's obviously where you get a better uh, representation of what the area is actually like. But it's, it's alright, it's not too dirty at the moment, the front's not too bad. I mean it is a nice day and that adds, adds a lot to it, if it was chucking it down it would probably be, be a bit fuming, probably a bit grumpy. But yeah, Travel Lodge. Right in the front. Don't know what the price is of the travel lodge in uh, in real is, but the ones in Blackpool aren't that expensive, so I can't imagine this one being being too much. So yeah, let's get some some back streets anyway. See what the shopping sort of the scene is like. Uh, yeah, let's go. 
here we go. This is what the shops of real look like. A lot of pound shops. pound shops knocking about discount world I think it caters for people coming here touristy so a lot of novelty sort of sand and buckets I mean I don't know who's going out on the beach today it's like minus three but someone will be put your money on that McDonald's can't get away from him Mercy what's that the plaza restaurant, typical seaside restaurant that, the decor inside. Red sort of like seats. Default noise in the background just then. Go. So yeah, I'm guessing this is the main strip. So shops look all right, I suppose, the average sort of shops. They're open for a start, and normally I'm moaning about shops being shut. Costa. Inside little market there. It's alright. Pub to the left. Nice little pub there. Independent pub. Still on the back streets here, about two rows from the uh, centre. Bobby Geeks. Don't know what that is, nice and independent. Guys just burped, dead loud. Jay's Cafe, yeah, so. Shops uh, got their own feel about them around here. So again, I'm not uh, can't really kick off too much like I thought it would be. Fish and chips, gonna get quite a few of them around there. Yeah, I haven't found a Starbucks yet, but I've seen a cost of McDonald's and about two Greggs. But that's just the case with everywhere. Yuppie's 80s bar. I hope that place is open because it looks dingy and it'll be ace to go in there. Okay, so we've got two pubs slash bars opposite each other that are shut. Rendezvous and one behind me. Which is just called bar. So I don't know what the drinking scene is like around there. Don't know if a lot of places are shut or if it's good. I mean, that rendezvous looks like quite a big joint that. Uh, we've got Ellis's bar here which looks open, it's got Christmas decorations in. Unless they were put up about 10 years ago. Ellis's bar. Oh bloody hell, I don't know, not actually. Doesn't actually look like it. Looks like that was a nightclub. Pizza joint down there. So yeah, I don't really know about the uh, pubs and bars around there. It's hard to tell if they're open or not open. I don't know if I'm in the right area for the drinking scene anyway, but this is the centre, so I would assume so. If someone lives around here or been around here, they can tell me, I suppose. Yeah, so I'm walking along the beach now, just getting back to my vehicle. Got where I parked it, so it's probably going to take me an hour, but really, it's actually all right, in my opinion. And I'm quite critical of stuff. Better than Blackpool again, in my opinion. Just because it seems a lot cleaner. It's probably got more to offer, obviously, because it's a lot smaller. But the surrounding areas are well nice. I mean, Snowdonia over there. If you come in, you come to Rill and you haven't been before, and you go, let's go to Rill and you get there and you go, ah, oh, this ain't for me, this. Get back in your car. Go over there. You can walk up Snowdonia. Or get into the North Wales villages up the mountains and stuff like that, go for a walk. Don't know if you've got a dog with you, I don't know. So there's much more to do on the surrounding areas, whereas Blackpool, it feels like you're going to go there for the Pleasure Beach, arcades, and obviously drinking. There's more of a drinking scene in there, which I think gives it a bit of a reputation. That's why it might look a bit scruffier. Um, whereas here, it looks like it's more just pubs and like lounge bars. Don't look like it's nightclubs or anything like that. I mean, there may be. I haven't had a proper look. But for me personally, this is, this is quite quite nice. From what I remember as a kid anyway, everything's better as a kid. It's when you go back as an adult and you go, Jesus Christ, that is actually grim. But like I say, your dad only took you there and your parents only took you there. Just keep you happy, didn't they? But 
But yeah, come back as an adult now. It's okay. I'll probably come back in the summer, yeah, but I won't come I'll come back to real. But like I say, I won't come back all day there. I'll probably come back, spend half an hour there, but, but my main thing would be, you know, walking up Snowdonia, going to Land Dudno, it's just round the corner, go and see some castles. I saw some castles on the way in. They were nice. So yeah, that's real anyway. So I'm gonna get back to my vehicle anyway. Upload this video when I get home. And I think the next one's gonna be Lake District, or something like that. Especially when I go to Barrow, because that's meant to be awful. And I've been reading recent things about it saying it's still awful, so I'll check that out. So yeah, anyway, I'll see you in the next one.